Hi, Brian Bush, field agronomist for Pioneer covering southeastern Indiana. Many people have noted high levels of stink bugs in their fields, their barns, and even in their houses. They've been asking, do the high number of stink bugs now mean stink bugs will be a problem again this year? Well, the answer is probably yes, but we should not be concerned just yet. 2018 was a year of high stink bug damage to corn and especially to soybeans. It should not be a surprise that we start 2019 with higher stink bug levels. Stink bugs overwinter as adults in sheltered areas like buildings, wooded areas, and yes, in your house. Uh, so the cold winter weather really does not bother stink bugs very much. So are we concerned about corn or soybeans or both? Well, we're primarily concerned about soybeans. Corn feeding normally occurs from emergence to V5 and is largely superficial. If you find damage to corn kernels, like in some of the pictures you've seen, that's probably your better signal to go scout your soybean fields for stink bugs. The damage you see on the corn kernels often does not hurt yields or cause quality discounts. While stink bugs can feed on seedling soybean plants, focus more on preventing damage to the pods in the seeds. Pod feeding leads directly to seed abortion, cutting yield potential, and also opening those pods to discoloration and damaged seeds. So what's our action plan today? Scout and monitor. Adding an insecticide for controlling stink bugs now is not likely gonna reduce your stink bug levels. These stink bugs can fly and move from field to field, which reduces the effect of your insecticide application. When your corn and soybeans emerge, look for signs of feeding damage from stink bugs. Most of the time, this damage is cosmetic and not yield limiting. Our main focus should be managing stink bugs as soybeans start flowering and filling pods. Knowing where we find damage now will help you monitor fields to scout later. Thank you. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.